Hey, what's up? I'm Mason the Mason. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set some lentils. So right now, I'm doing some four-footers. All right. Four-footers. I got two four-inch lentils, four foot long. And uh, I got to set them over here. So uh, I have this pillar and this pillar set up. And uh, I got a half over here. Right. It's already hard. See that? Because uh, I don't want it to shake from these, uh, you know, lentils set. I got the mud pretty stiff, uh, and I didn't put my piece in over here. I got the half here, but I didn't put the piece in over here. That's because I don't know if it's gonna be a true half. I'd rather just make the piece after I set the lentils, and that's just how I do it all the time. So, step one is uh, get, get the mud. You want the mud pretty stiff? I'm gonna get everything out of here before I box it in. Again, it's pretty stiff. Big, big scoops, you know. I always separate it because, you know, I'll show you that in a minute. Mescla, mortar. All right, so let me do this back one first. That's the one I'm worried about. Had this block up here, just that outside one. Okay, okay. All right. Now, the fun part, especially since I'm doing it by myself. I'm gonna do this outside one here first, and then do this one. So on the level, or. Er, on the lentils, there's words, right? This one doesn't have any words on this side. All right, so it's on this side, right? Boom, you see, it's, it says top. So that's how you know which side to stick up. Top goes up. I switch grip it, you know, like a deadlifting something and then you just push her on there Ugh. see look over here it's a good thing I didn't put a half in there because it never would have fit I don't under understand how that works but yeah never would fit I don't have a big joint or anything either I could probably come back a little bit. Normal joint. So yeah, that's why you don't put your pieces in first. You can measure it and stuff. I'd rather just do that. Okay, pretty easy since this block's here. But what you want to do is plumb these things up. So, it's telling me I gotta go out a little bit. Right there. Sticking out of the hair. Yeah, there you go. Still plumb? Still plumb. Uh, this one's pretty good, so you just gotta plumb down over here. Just basically, just do that. Right on the edge. And we're over. You gotta watch spinning them too. So I'm tapping over here. It possibly might kick it out over here. Which it's all right. You gotta watch for that. You wanna make sure you're level. I'm level. When you do the other one, so once this one's set, you wanna cut the mud away like that. Because it'll squish the mud out and push that lentil right off. So you wanna you know, separate that a little bit. My mud's a little dry, but that's fine. So you want to angle out of the way so when you set this one on here, it doesn't push the other one off. And then the same thing on the other side. Boop, boop, head that joint up. Another heavy lifter episode. 
here. Remember, letters go up. Can't switch grip this one, you gotta curl it. I need a hammer on this one. No, we're good. So this time, we're gonna level across this way as well. But first, we are gonna level off of this. You gotta watch too, there's these like spiky things that stick up, you know what I mean? I'll get you out of the sun, you probably got a sunspot. So anyway, gotta watch for them, so I'm gonna hit them off. All right, beat that in. The back one is still good. Good, good, good. Level, level. Okay, now we're gonna check the plumb. Again, check the plumb. We are plumb. And then, we're good. We're plumb, but it's like a little bit bigger, so I'm just gonna cheat. You can, you can cheat sometimes, you know? If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. And that's just how I live my life. Just kidding, don't cheat, whatever. Uh, you want you want this the same size as the eight. You don't want that sticking out too far, you know what I mean? And then this side, you just plumb down. So I'm not gonna beat this over because I'll probably move the other lentil. So you gotta kinda slide it over. Check the pump. Oof. Oof, it's turning on me. There you go. Now that's how you set some lentils. You need a tape measure or whatever, but you definitely want to check and see if your block fit good. Which it's perfect. It's perfect. Alright. That's how you set some lentils. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, thanks for watching.